There you hey go. everybody, I'm Ed Ramos from Murray, Kentucky, and I'm with my great friend, the voice of Chuck Wagon Races, Mr. Dean Holman, all the way from Arkansas. He is the voice of the National Championships in Clinton, Arkansas. But I'll tell you, we're at uh, Loretta Lynn's for the first race of the season, Dean, and talk about our rural heritage. Hey, I tell you, today we're going to be racing mules, we'll be racing big horses, and well, it's American heritage today because it's Chuck Wagon Races. Today. Well, to start the race, Ed, speaking of that heritage and that Oklahoma land rush, that's what we'll start the race with today. You'll notice the starting line will be be down there. They start the, with the sound of a gun. They'll take around all the way around this track. Finish lines will be in different areas. That black barrel right there, that will be one of the finish lines. When we get to some of the bigger wagons, such as the classic wagon or possibly the buckboards, which you got a 52 inch pony pulling that buckboard. You got probably a thousand or 1100 pound horse pulling that classic wagon. So every race is gonna be a different every size of animal. Race, small race. horses, small mules, yes, bigger yes, horses, bigger yes. mules, and then all the way up to yes. the big horses with the, exactly. uh, what we call the classics, which is exactly. gonna be a, a traditional looking. Yeah truck wagon. Matter of fact, as we speak right now, over there in a certain area, they are measuring in the 52 inch ponies, meaning that those ponies cannot exceed 52 inches in size. At to the pull, withers. At, at the withers. At, at the withers, correct, correct. So there will be a division for that 52 inch pony to pull that little wagon with three competitors. You'll have a driver, a cook, and an outrider. Three competitors. What's all, their, what's all those jobs? Okay, the, the driver, driver the cook, and outrider. What are they going to do? The driver, obviously, he's got those check lines, as they call the lifelines, in his hand. He is guiding that team. He's the competitor that uh, he's got to have a lot of nerve. He's got to shuck them those, guidelines, those lines and, and, and let them run. You've got to cook. He will be out of the wagon when the race starts. They're on the starting line. The cook is at the back of the wagon holding the bedroll. The judge signals cooks load your bedroll nothing's happening right now the cook gets in seconds later the gun fires the gun fires wagon explodes and it's gone well you got an outrider that's holding his horse okay he's got the cook stove in his hand that represents that cook stove he's got it on the ground and he's on the ground he's on the not ground. on horseback yet right, he's right. on the ground holding this runaway horse <laughs> anyway when the gun sounds, he takes that stove, then and only then can he pit, he pitches it in the back of that wagon, then mounts his horse, leaves, gets around the starting line, and the race begins. When it's all over, said and done, his him, his horse, the cook stove, all has to be in that wagon with him in front of that wagon to make a qualified run. Hey, it's pretty, you know, if you're just a spectator sitting on the side and you think, well, they're just shucking the reins to them and making a way around the track. Well, no, there's a lot of working parts. A lot of Control working chaos, parts. Controlled really. chaos, really. Controlled chaos. From the Thank time they, they say, get ready, and they throw that bedroll yes. in, the cook gets in, then a 44 yes. Magnum goes off. And, you know, horse people know, I mean, there's a lot yeah. of exciting, there's two teams getting ready to take off right there. So it is crazy. It is 